with the growing concerns about the novel coronavirus now spreading rapidly in the youth. It's understandable that people who develop a cough or fever might wonder if they have COVID, Ninet, ain't the disease caused by the virus. There are going to be many individuals who think they have the disease, even if they are unlikely to have been exposed and their symptoms are more consistent with other health problems, like the cold or flu, says Gary Leroy, MD. A family physician in Dayton, Ohio, and president of the American Academy of Family Physicians. Contributing to the confusion is that this is a rapidly evolving situation, where what is known about the disease changes by the day, even by the hour, Leroy and other experts say. The result, minor respiratory symptoms that otherwise people would dismiss are causing a lot of anxiety, says Michael Hockman, MD, director of the Gare Family Center for Health Systems Science and Innovation at the Keck Jewel of Medicine of UC in Los Angeles. In addition, testing for the virus is still not widely available, making it difficult for people to know for certain when they are infected. But at this point, some facts are clear, COVID-19 is a viral respiratory illness, with common symptoms of fever, dry cough, and, sometimes, shortness of breath. These range from mild to severe, and the most serious cases are potentially fatal, particularly in people who are older or have underlying medical conditions. And like other viral respiratory illnesses, it's thought that this new disease spreads primarily through close contact with an infected person. Through the droplets produced during coughs or sneezes, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. This is definitely a situation we should be taking seriously, Hockman says. We shouldn't dismiss it, but panicking isn't helpful. Carefully evaluating your symptoms, risk factors, and known exposure can help you decide when you can treat at home, when you should be tested, and whether you should reach out to a doctor.